Hello farmers, welcome to another episode of bestfarmingtips.com. Today we are talking about Peking ducks versus Muscovy ducks, advantages and disadvantages of the two best duck breeds. Pekings and Muscovies are arguably the two most common domestic ducks in most countries. All the different breeds of ducks have much more in common than differences. They all love to swim and play in water. They all love to patrol for slugs and snails. They all lay delicious and rich eggs. They all are very disease resistant and they are all fun to watch as they go about their daily life. Today we are looking at the pros and cons of both the Muscovies and the Pekins and at the end of this episode you should be able to make an informed decision as to which breed to go for between the two. I do raise both the Pekins and the Muscovies, so do I have a first-hand experience regarding their characteristics, their advantages, and their disadvantages. Number one, beauty and appearance. No doubt Peking ducks are good-looking and attractive, while Muscovy ducks are not beautiful, especially the adult drakes. The caroncles on their faces are a bit scary, and to say the least. Number two, noise. If you live in an area where noise is a big no-no, then Muscovy ducks are your only option. They are often called the quietest duck, although they are not super silent. However, the hisses the males make and the soft quacks the hands do are very low in sound. That if you are anything more than 10 meters or 11 yards away from them, you will hardly hear anything. On the other hand, the pekings are super loud and noisy. The female pekings are the noisiest. When they are hungry or when you disturb them or frighten them, they will yell at you and the noise can be heard from afar. Luckily, during the day when all is well and they are well fed, pekings don't normally make any noise. Number three, meat production. Duck meat is special meat that is usually a bit pricey compared to pork, beef or chicken. One of the primary reasons why we raise ducks is to have meat. While both Muscovy ducks and Peking ducks provide us with quality meat, Pekings are more of a meat breed than Muscovy. Pekings go faster than the Muscovy and the Peking meat is softer and tastier than that of Muscovy. Although Peking meat is more greasy, it however tastes much better than Muscovy meat, which has a very strong flavor that's more gamey than ducky. When well fed, a Peking duck can reach 2.5 kgs in 6 to 7 weeks, while a well fed Muscovy can reach 2.5 kgs in 9 to 10 weeks. Number 4 Hatching eggs and being great mothers. Well, Pekings will fail dismally on this one and Muscovy ducks will excel when it comes to hatching eggs as well as taking great care of their young. Peking ducks take 28 days to hatch. Peking hens may at times sit on their eggs but usually they get tired along the way and neglect the eggs and the nest altogether before they hatch. On the contrary, Muscovy ducks will sit on their eggs for a whopping 35 days and hatch almost all the eggs before nursing the ducklings until they grow older. One trick here if you want to raise more pekings is to keep two or three Muscovy ducks, probably one male and two females. The female Muscovies will then broad your peking eggs and 28 days later you will have peking ducklings. Instead of using Muscovy hens to broad pecking ducks, you can also use chickens, turkeys, or an electric incubator. Number 5. Ability to escape from predators and fly. This is both a pro and a con. While Muscovy ducks can fly, particularly the females, this means they can easily escape from their enemies and you, of course, because you can't fly. Pecking ducks can't fly so they can't use their wings to escape from you or from predators either. Male Muscovies are usually too big and fat to get off the ground, but females can fly and roost in trees if you let them. This isn't as big of an issue 
if you have no fear of uh, clipping a few of their primary flight feathers. So Muscovies also have claws on their feet uh, that picking ducks neck uh, and they are sharp enough to cut if you are not careful. Number six, uh, calm and friendly. Whereas Pekins will enjoy sitting with you and even pet, Muscovies have retained their wild side and become wary. There are cases where they can be friendly, but it may be more genetics than anything else. Muscovy drakes are at times very aggressive, especially to female ducklings. Although raised predominantly as a meat bird, Pekins do make wonderful pets. Owners report that their friendly ducks follow them around like dogs would. Number 7. Cleanliness When it comes to cleanliness, Muscovy ducks are much smarter than Peking ducks. Pekings love playing with water. If you don't give them a pond to swim in, they will make good use of the water you give them to drink and the whole fowl run will always be wet. That's not really the case with Muscovy ducks. They can maintain the dry conditions of the coop. Number 8. Great Egg Layers I believe that both lay a relatively large amount of eggs. The difference being that a Muscovy duck will go broody and a pecking mite, but in most cases it doesn't or it does but holds the process halfway down the line. This means that once the Muscovy ducks lay a certain number of eggs, she will want to set. It is very difficult to break them from setting. Generally, Muscovy ducks will lay between 10 and 22 eggs per clutch, depending on the hen's age and body size. Muscovy ducks will give you up to 4 clutches of eggs per year. This means you generally get 40 to 88 eggs per year from each Muscovy hen. On the contrary, Pekin are good layers, they may not be the best in the egg laying racer as Kaki Campbell ducks have the capacity to bless you with as many as 340 eggs per year, but Pekins will not really disappoint. They have the capacity to lay an impressive 200 to 240 eggs per year. Number 9. Pest Control Muscovies tend to eat anything that moves and that they can put down their throats, including house flies and mosquitoes and ticks, whereas Pekins are a bit selective on their diet. Although Pekins eat a lot more than Muscovies do, nonetheless, they won't eat anything and almost everything like what Muscovy ducks do. If you let them free range, they eat much less feed because they are busy devouring insects and vegetation and Muscovies eat more grass than Pekins. Number 10, my final verdict. So, there you have it guys. You have realized that uh, both breeds have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. If noise is your deal breaker, then go for the Muscovy ducks. If taste and growth rate is what you need the most, then go for Pekins. If you want Pekins but don't have an incubator, then raise a few Muscovies as well so that they can sit on your pecking eggs and hatch them four weeks later. Now you know the pros and cons of pecking ducks and Muscovy ducks. My personal recommendation is that you raise both, then either increase your pecking flock or increase your Muscovy flock, depending on your personal preferences, situation and intentions. Also kind of like and share this tutorial so that others may benefit from this lesson and subscribe to my YouTube channel best farming tips so that next time when i upload another video which i often do on a weekly basis you may be notified thanks for watching subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos goodbye